definitely huge. I mean, the three years I've been here, we, uh, we've kind of struggled out coming out of the gate, and we did that again this year, but we've regrouped, and, you know, we've played well the last six, seven games this semester, and, you know, leading up, the Suniac division is a very tough division, and, and we need to get as many points as we can. That's definitely pretty special. I mean, uh, it's it's even better that we won both the games. I mean, getting a shutout is, is pretty special, and it doesn't happen very often. But to get back to back, it's it's pretty special. But the guys really played well in front of me, especially only having four D these last four games. So um, they really helped me out, made my job a lot easier. Didn't want to give up a goal, um, regardless of the shutout. I just wanted to get the win. So. I mean, just staying focused. I mean, when you're in a zone for that long, you know, it was almost 55 minutes, you know, your, your mind's in it and you're, you're ready to go. So I don't think staying focused was an issue. Uh, we're going to have to continue to play well, continue to score, continue to do the little things and play uh, good defensive hockey. Um, the Suniac division is extremely tough and we just need to continue doing well and, and win on the road. We play a lot of games the second semester on the road and we need to, we need to get a lot of points. Uh, I mean, it's pretty difficult at times, especially when you're on the road and you're trying to get all your assignments done and, and exams and such, but it's all about being a student athlete and I mean, I, I kind of embrace it and enjoy it at the same time. Um, you just put got to put a lot of work in day in, day out, and that's what keeps you on track. Uh, definitely somewhere in Europe or even Africa. I mean, it's, it's pretty foreign, and, and there's a lot of things to do there, so that those two areas are where I'd like to go one day.